I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today I'm going to walk through a, an example of doing a logical consequence worksheet. And this is a way to w solve problems instead of yelling or complaining or most of the time when we are disciplining our kids, we we, we kind of are doing it off the cuff. And this is a well thought out way to handle discipline situations when they occur. And so what we do first, the first step is to say the specific misbehavior I'd like to improve upon with a logical consequence. So the one example that I'm going to use today is Michael calling mom's names. So we had a situation where he was, you know, calling me names and I decided, okay, instead of saying don't do that which she would do it anyway or trying to come up with other ways to discipline him I was going to do a logical consequence so that's what we're doing here so step one is to figure out the behavior that you want to improve upon with a logical consequence so you can use your own example in this situation the second step is to think of three things and write them down and say them to your child three things that you love about your child so what I wrote in this specific situation was, I like how Michael plays sports at 100%. I love how lovable Michael is. And I love the way he can fix things. <laughs> so you just want to come up with three, three things that you love about your child. And this really helps us shift into thinking about logical consequences rather than accidentally creating a logical punishment. Step three is to speak my problem with the situation. What is my problem with the situation? So I wrote, when Michael calls me names, I feel angry and embarrassed because it's not acceptable. And I want him to use appropriate words to speak his feelings. Look, Bumble knows you're exhausted by dating. All the, must not take yourself too seriously, and 6-1 since that matters, and what do I even say other than, hey? <sighs> well, that's why they're introducing an all new Bumble. With exciting features to make compatibility easier, starting the chat better, and dating safer. They've changed, so you don't have to. Download the new Bumble now. Then what you do is you generate a list of solutions to the problem. So we actually brainstormed a list of solutions, and each person has veto power. So when you're doing the brainstorming, it's really important not to shoot any ideas down, to let everything get put on the board and to just make sure all the ideas are heard. The kids might test you with some crazy ideas and you just want to make sure that you don't get plugged in or have your buttons pushed. Just write everything up knowing you can then um, cross anything off the list that doesn't work for you. And I don't have a copy of our brainstorming session. We usually did these on chalkboards and uh, whiteboards. So um, I can only imagine, you know, we probably had a whole big list of things. And what usually happened is we would end up vetoing everything except for the child's best solution and my best solution. So in this case, Michael's solution was, one of his solutions was to say, he wrote to say happy, happy, happy instead. So when he would call me a name, I was supposed to say happy, happy, happy as a signal to remember to not be mean, but to be nice. My, so, my best solution on there was for him to say, I love you and apologize. And if he doesn't do it, then he has to pay me a quarter. <laughs> so we had those two possibilities left. And what you want to do is acknowledge the child for cooperating and generate a logical consequence either using your child's suggestion or your own. And once you've figured it out, then to write it down. So that's why we had this part written down. So what we were going to do was try the one to say happy, happy, happy instead and see how that went. And then if that didn't work, we were going to do the other one that I had written down, which was to say, I love you and apologize. And if not, he had to pay me a quarter. <laughs> so I don't exactly even remember how this went. Um, this was a long time ago, but I do know seeing it here that this was a way better way to, to brainstorm a solution to the problem. And I think giving it the time and the attention and the focus like this for me was a lot of doing of, of doing the logical consequences. It was a process. It's like, instead of getting upset and mad, we go through this whole process of brainstorming together to try to work out solutions to our problems. So I hope these logical consequences are something that you can use. Have a great day. Happy parenting. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. 
I assume you're here because you're getting something out of these daily pep talks. And wouldn't it be great if more parents could hear more about these ideas for their children? And you can help me in a great way by liking the episodes, by sharing them on your social media, and especially by providing a review on your platform of choice. So if you could do me a huge favor and do that, it would really help get this out to many, many, many more parents. And we can all help our children feel more seen, heard, and understood, which is my life's work, is to make sure that all children feel loved and appreciated and that we can discipline them without breaking their spirit. So I hope that you've enjoyed these podcasts and will continue to enjoy them. And I really appreciate any support you can give me here at Positive Parenting Pep Talks. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy parenting. Hey!